just gonna actually no I'm going to read it because the, the maps changed so maybe some lines changed as well but probably not because it was yeah it's just well made I think There you go. Okay. Look, we will have to fight again. Terrible. But this is the last scenario. So yeah. I can just throw all, my go all of my gold at the enemy once I fight him. That's not too terrible. My my knights actually are doing pretty well. Like <laughs> I lost almost all of my loyal units, which was my bad, yeah. But it looks like it's not as bad as I thought. Nah, those two. I was uh, I was thinking of recalling those two units, but. I don't think it's worth the gold. So for now I'm going, just going to rush to him to make sure that I actually arrive. I can still recruit some units over there and help them out. That, that's going to be my, be my ally. As you can see the place is pretty much under attack. So could go that way. And basically, basically, I'm leading another pincer attack, just like the one uh, in the store you saw. Uh, those units I recruited are actually recalled in the first turn. I'm going to take this way, and I'm going here to recruit more units to go that way to pincer this one. Yeah, and it just is somewhat reasonable. Because my leader can move in the first turn, unlike the units I recalled. So he's going, and he's a really fast unit. So he's going to get there way uh, earlier than my other units. Let's see how much gold he actually had. Okay, 35 gold. So those two units are actually all he recruited, which is pretty much nothing. Like, <laughs> those are not going to help anyone. That's for sure. Whoa! Oh, oh, this is a flat one. That makes sense. Um, this was a bad move because they can easily attack him. Uh, I'm not even sure if he's going to survive, but because there might be units over here, this can attack him as well. And he can't see them because he's riding a horse and the horse can't move on mountains. So you see, those guys are pretty much done. If I didn't go there, he would... Oh, come on, really? Honestly, I'm not sure um, how I'm supposed to do this. I try. Maybe he actually survives, who knows? Maybe, just maybe. Uh, one can help. If he doesn't, I'm. I probably tell the devs that uh, the, that leader should really have some. 
what's it called? It should be more passive than this. Because this is just... No, even if he survives, I'm going to ask them to make him a bit more passive because this is uh, unreasonable. Like, look at this. I don't like it. Oh no, I wish he had at least waited. Okay, well, it wouldn't have made a difference. Anyway, let's see. What can I actually do? First of all, recruit more units. Go for a few horsemen because I will need the damage output to save him, maybe, somehow, possibly. So, yeah. So, I could have decided to get. Uh, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I could have gone for a, a paladin, but I'm not going to fight any more undead. And the healer is not really necessary with all the villages uh, I can see. Let's see. I think if I retry this scenario, I'm going to um, go for more. Uh, what's it? Horseman. What? He's surviving? Okay, he's not surviving. Wait, what? I see, I see. Now I understand. Uh, saving this guy is not even necessary. I was just like, uh, how am I supposed to win if, I'm ha if I have to protect this kind of ally? But if I don't, the change, the change things. Just means I have to go here um, and clean them up after they kill him. Which is manageable, as you can see. If I had known, I wouldn't have gone for so many horsemen, because they are a double-edged sword, you know what I mean, probably. And yeah, it's not good to rely on them, because if they fail, they fail spectacularly. Nothing you can actually recover from. So I can just attack this guy, despite having just 38 health and he deals 27 damage in retaliation, uh, up to 27, because he's going to survive this attack and he's going to level up. So he's gonna end with full heath anyway. There you go. And yeah, that's again pretty much game. See, those guys are gone. This guy can't do much. I can actually... Oh! Yeah, I'm going to block this, this castle, so we won't recruit more units anyway. So, even though I won't kill him in the next few turns, because it's night, and I don't deal good damage at night... Oh, that was bad for me. Um, okay, I take it back. He might be a bit more troublesome because I was planning to block this one with this unit or this one so we won't be able to recruit and uh, basically slowly bleed out but since I didn't do that he can still recover which is less than ideal way less so my level 3 unit might actually die. Yeah, and this guy anyway. So, my fault. Whatever. He can... Ha! Huh, he survived. But that was pretty lucky. <sighs> Let's go. Now I'm just gonna... Um, Danny him any and all villages I can which is pretty much all of them. So he's going to run out of gold anyway. Save. Dead one. Take one more village. He's probably going to die. 
because I don't have much in the way of protecting him. I could charge, but at night this deals way too much damage back. I don't want to take that much damage. Okay, let's throw Javelin. For now, um, the priority is to take as little damage as possible, at least until the night ends. Okay, this didn't work really well. The good part is I've got all the villagers and he can't move to, to his keep again. So it's fine. He said while his room was burning. Whatever. Like, okay, this is hurt a lot. Okay. This one. So I'm just gonna throw units at him without a regard of the of the lives, because um, pretty much I can. I I don't have to play with this uh, like really strategic. Well, finish him off. I can just take the fast route like charging with horsemen it works okay now there's the epilogue where Bar uh, Arvith, the, the night guy says that, he's, that his company was contracted by an elf elvish lord called Callens. You might know this name. Actually, you should, <laughs> if you're playing Wesnoff at least. So there's basically um, an, a seed for, con for, continu uh, for a kin continuation, for a sequel of a new campaign about Callens and Arbeth. But so far, no one has made one. Or maybe. There was a scenario called, no, a campaign, a user-made campaign called Journey to the East, which might have uh, be about the seed. Let's see, okay, and that's the game. Now the this looks pretty nice. Uh, this is basically so for the record the the what's the credit screen credit stuff from Battle for West North has looked way differently uh, in the past and this one was introduced by a user made campaign uh, by Iris or called Chigati Queen uh, in the campaigns Invasion from the Unknown and after the storm. Just to give some credit where credit is due. So I'm not gonna play right now something new, but um, the plan for the future is to just play the campaigns in order. Like uh, you can see here, I already finished Air to the Throne, Descent to the Darkness, and The Hammer of Tuzagen on uh, one point. 1.15.6 no in the 1.1 in the 1.15 series but um, I actually going to replay them because uh, yeah the, the, the idea is to prove this all no um, no safe coming safe scumming is necessary and uh, the mainline campaigns have a special place for me. So I'm going to replay them, but as you can see, I've already finished some other campaigns or scenarios. This is just are mostly scenarios um, for 1.15 or for. Actually, let me look. Can I? Um, yeah, and I'm not going to play replay doors. That's for sure. Actually, what is this one doing here? Let me check for a second. Because um, an Orcish incursion is not mainline anymore. Oh yeah, you can see this is, 
is an add-on. So, yeah, just one thing I'm going to show up, show up, show off how many campaigns I finished in 1.15 and why it's reasonable that I'm not going to replay them again. At least most of them I won't. There are always new campaigns for Westnoff, so if I just want to play a new campaign, I can easily do that. There are like a hundred, and I've only played 40 or 50 of them. This is going to take a moment. Just stick around, I guess. Oh, don't. Oops. Oh, hi, Nightmare. There you are. There you are. Yep, he didn't retreat. He couldn't retreat to the keep. He uh, he was just um, stuck because of zone of control. So he was done before he uh, before he had any chance to survive. All right. Uh, did you see me um, that I finished assault on a citadel? I mean, you know I did because I I sent you a, re a replay. He was. I'm wondering. I just checked that. I can check that easily. So. Oh, this is gonna. One, five. Yes, no. Just a second. Here it is. Actually, I could have skipped it all away because I. I have a 1.14 Westnoff installed. I totally forgot about that. So let's see. There's 1.15. 1.15. 1 Whatever. Is this the right Westnoff? Because I've got two of them open. So let's go. Yeah, I did. I'm re right, I remember, because honestly, they, they had their uses, but they, were, they didn't work great or something. So, and you saw just an error message about your other add on, Hero of Earlier, but don't worry, it's because this is uh, Western of 1.15.2 instead of 1.15.6. This is the uh, version I've got installed outside of. Of Steam, so it's not up to date. Don't worry. So, um, yeah, just this is going to appear any time. Um, I just want to read uh, to check this if he actually had a chance to retweet because I thought he didn't. Maybe. Oh, oh, I, I think I know what moment you are talking about. That was, um, what's it called? Reef Hoban uh, moved first, then his units attacked, and then he attacked. So uh, he was already out of moves when you saw him, when he attacked that Orcish Warrior. Just see it, point of view, full map. Continuous replay. Let's skip some stuff. Or let's speed it up a bit. This is a bit sluggish because I have a Twitch open and a second version now. And, and I'm actually, I can't stop this one. Um, I was installing the what? Okay, this is very likely because it's 1.1.2 1. 1. instead of 1.15.6 1. 1. Uh, because uh, there was a rebalancing in mainline units. Ignore all. Just skip that stuff. This is going to lead to some errors, but the important stuff is gonna stay. Uh, the, the stuff you want to see. Whoa, Steam is crashing. Interesting. Whatever. So let's see, we are almost there. 
So he's gonna attack. He's going to be attacked. And then he, uh, this then this is the uh, place where you think he was he could have retreated and instead attacked the uh, August Warrior. So yet see, he's here. So the next turn he's going to move here. Then his units are going to attack this one and kill him. So it looks like he could move from from so he moved. They attack. And then he attacks this one. He, there was no chance to actually retreat. And uh, let's, let's accelerate it. Let's, let's go fast a bit again. And now he's going to die instantly. Skip that stuff. Yep. So it looks for a moment. Oh no, he might survive, but nope, he doesn't. There you go. That's, now I don't need this one anymore. And now let's see how many campaigns have I finished. It would be actually nice if you could uh, sort your campaign campaigns by have you finished them or have you not. And yeah. A filter? Well, it's not actually something we need. Wait, does game? Yeah, it's captured. It does capture it. For the record again, I'm not going to start another campaign now. I'm just showing off, Show, showing off at least uh, once this actually loads. And the problem is, I have literally more than a hundred campaigns installed. So if I have Twitch, uh, this this what's it called? This Twitch Studio running uh, as well. It's leads to some delays when I'm trying to load all those campaigns. It's actually a pretty good reason for playing on 1.15 1, 1, uh, 1 instead of 1.14 because uh, 1.15 doesn't have all those campaigns ported yet. So come on. This is going to take a while. Steam is dying as well. Good to know. Let's kill it. Or fire, preferably. As, uh, for you it looks okay, but for me it's um, saying that there's no... Actually, what does it say? Oh yeah, that there's no feedback from the program. Yeah, that's... I saw your comments. I saw your comments. Useful. But um, it's going to be lead to problems for you if in scenarios we are, we are short on time, when you have to chase the enemy down. It's, yeah, can be annoying and actually more difficult than leaders that just charge at you if they have 20 HP left. So, Wesnaf is still dying. There's that. I just... You know what, I'm just going to give up. Or uh, at least, uh, let's try again. One more try, if this doesn't work, um, yeah, I'm ending the stream. And say goodbye for now. Uh, I. Right, you were there when I said what I'm going to play next. Let's try again. Honestly, why do you, why you, why are you still here and watching this? Like, oh, yeah. Well, Among Us is pretty nice, honestly. Killing someone and then telling everyone else that uh, you have no idea who did it and that. That maybe you should skip the vote is pretty nice, especially when they uh, start accusing each other. And you just next to them and say, Sorry, but I didn't see it, or maybe, Sorry, I saw this color going over there, but I don't know what they did there. Like, you just you just tell true truths, 
uh, except you don't tell them that you killed someone. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, where's off is... Hmm. Among Us just makes fun if you're playing with friends or with other people in the voice chat, while Wesnoff is something else entirely. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. You know what? I might... Um, I might stop the stream, then start with Nav, uh, and make a screenshot instead of. Oh, wait. I'll be back in a second. Yep, I want to end the stream. Do I? Yeah, I want. <laughs> 